All right, welcome back. Our uh, part twelve. We are in Hebrew. This place better be worth. What's so special about this place? I don't know. Like the rest of you found him. I can't believe it. You found him. Hello. Hello. I owe you a great debt. I will repay it somehow. I swear my life on it. Okay, buddy. Glad to help. No need. I'm glad Sandal was all right. Because of you. You will not regret this. Say thank you to the nice man for saving your life, Sandal. Thank you. You need to thank me. Sure. I will not forget what. Job, mate? My boy's quite good at it. Does any of your equipment require enchanting? Let's see what he can do. Yay! Mm, so excited. Uh, in. All right, buddy. Whatever's through there, it seems still intact. Think we'll find anything? I'll be more. Chances are we won't find anything but even more dark spawn and rubble. Maybe bones. Hmm. I suppose we'll need to go down there to find out. Be careful! Ha! Go down! Probably wants us to clear the way. Find out. What we need to clear. Good quad. You see what I'm seeing? Is that? Lyrium doesn't look like any kind of lyrium I've ever seen. Look at this, Bartran. An idol made out of pure lyrium, I think. Could be worth a fortune. You could be right. Excellent find. Not bad. We'll take a look around, see if there's anything further in. You do that. The door! Bartred, it's shut behind you! <laughs> you always did notice everything, Varric. Are you joking? 
You're going to screw over your own brother for a lousy idol? Not just the idol. The location of this tiger load is worth a fortune. And I'm not splitting that three ways. Sorry, brother. Fortress! Fortress! I'm killing him. Oh, I swear I will find that son of a bitch. Sorry, mother Beth, I will kill him. Oh, let's hope there's a way out of here. There is. If not, we won't. This is where the game ends. Uh. Go ahead. Kill our way. Now we fight. Come on. Let's make this quick. Damn, sis, it's easy there. This is very good.
not see these creatures harmed without I'd say being attacked on sight gives us plenty of need. They will not assault you further, not without my permission. What are these things? They seem like rock wraiths, but... They hunger. The profane have lingered in this place for ages, beyond memory. Feeding on the magic stones until the need is all they know. Illyrium? That's what sustains them. I am not as they are. I am... a visitor. I'm not sure. I think it's some kind of demon feeding on their hunger. I would not see my feast end. I sense your desire. You seek to leave this place, but you will need my aid to do so. Be careful. I don't like the sound of this. What are our options? Why do we need your aid to leave? There is another door that leads into the paths far above us. That is what you seek. It has been sealed, however, and cannot be opened without a key. I know where the key is. Do as I ask. And I shall tell you. <sighs> so what do you think? Well. I feel like he's gonna eat it, but then he's backstabbed us. We don't have much choice. Very wise. There is a crypt, not far from here, guarded by a creature that has confounded me for too long. Slay it, and freedom is yours. Can I put them to? Press left. I mean, it's right here. What is this place? This is the vault. The dwarves would have brought there.
wraiths are supposed to be dwarven legends. They're not even supposed to be real. They look pretty real to me. I suppose it doesn't matter. Look at what it was guarding. That is not yours. The key you require is in the chest. Leave all else, for it is mine. Psst. Not to uh, point out the obvious, but can you imagine what this stuff would be worth on the surface? You will not. It is mine, all of it. Take only the key, or I shall destroy you. You mind? Way ahead of you. Bianca says the treasure is ours. Are you done? Collect the best pieces with carry out of here and then go. Place it. Five stone. Okay. Clearly, we can't give any gear, Hello.
I don't know. Fuck him up. I'd say this is our way back. How long to get back? If we're unlucky, maybe a week. And if we're lucky, we stumble over Bartrand's corpse on the way. <laughs> I like that. I like the sound of that. I'm gonna fucking kill. You are. You're sorry. This part of the deep roads looks familiar. We're back where we started. And in only five days. Not bad, eh? Could we... slow down? I'm not feeling very well. Let's make camp if you're sick. <laughs> I'll wager it was those deep mushrooms we found. Going so well. No. <gasps> Bethany! Oh, Maker, no. It's the blight, isn't it? I'll end up just like Wesley, won't I? There must be some other way. I'm not going to last until the surface. <sighs> it's coming on faster. There isn't anything we can do. Not down here. You'll take care of it, won't you, brother? How can I kill my own sister? Because she's asking you to. It's just you now. Take care of mother. She's our best mate. Sweet home. Finally. Oh, I wonder if Bartrand came back to the city. You think I'd be that lucky? Just make sure you let me know when you find him. Trust me, you'll be the first to know. I'm sorry about what happened to your sister. I should have seen Bartrand's betrayal coming. I'll find that maggot if it's the last thing I do. I imagine you'll be heading home to uh, tell the family. I don't have much choice. You'll be a wealthy man, Hawk. It wasn't all for nothing. Uh. Oh, my baby. You made it home. Bethany isn't with you? No. Is she? Coming back? I'm sorry, Mother. <laughs> so the champion was responsible for his sister's death. Yes, but that's not the connection you're looking for. Isn't it? Guilt makes for the perfect motivation. And the champion's companions, Meryl, Aveline, Isabella, that warden Anders. Don't remind me. 
I introduced them. We thought they all came from Ferelden together, but now it makes sense. Motive and opportunity. It's still not what you think. Then I need to hear more. Unless you've already decided. I can always go if you don't need me anymore. Tell me what came next. The treasure we found in the Deep Roads made us a fortune. The champion moved up in the world. Literally. Bought a mansion in Hightown. Everyone knew who he was now. Even the Viscount was taking of us. I felt responsible for Bethany's death. She was a good girl, and met a bad end. Fuck. Three years later, the Kunari still haven't left. The Kunari insisted they were waiting for their ship. But some of us knew better. The compound was not meant to be permanent. There are concerns the Kunari influence is no longer contained. Was it ever? Kirkwall has tension enough between Templar and Mage. But these Kunari, they sit like gargoyles waiting for Maker knows what, and everyone goes mad around them. Nearly four years I've stood between fanatics. And now, this. Don't keep us in suspense. Leave us. Meredith at my throat, Orsino at my heels, and a city scared of heretical giants. Balance has held because the Conari ask for nothing. Even the space in Lowtown was a gift to contain them. But now, the Arishok has requested you. By name. What did you do? I got his attention a couple of times. I guess I impressed him, but that was years ago. It makes no sense. And it doesn't matter. I just need them quiet. I remember how you helped my son. It seems you are meant to have influence above your station. Speak to the Arishok. Give him what he needs to keep the peace. Can you do that for Kirk Wall, Sarah Hawk? The Canari usually arrive as conquerors. Odd that this has gone on so long. Very, and I have no interest in antagonizing them. That is partially why I suffer being a messenger today. A treaty exists, and it has been honored. Although... Uh, you have doubts. They claim they're waiting for a second ship. But it has been three years. They want something else. I am always willing to assist. Now that is an attitude this city has lacked for a long time. Appease the Arishok. Take his demand and let him return to dormancy. As awkward as this has been, it is better than the alternative. It's heading for a fall. I know it is. Ah, uh, fuck me. You and the 
working well, Sarah. Awesome. Nice. Fucking beast. How come I take Man. David. I'm out.
bugging me a lot right now. Who's better? everywhere for you, Messiah. If only you humans didn't all look the same. I was called to the keep on important business, Bodan. Yes. I was hoping to catch you before you arrived. I came to deliver this to you, the last of the proceeds from all that treasure you found in the deep roads. It seems your friend Varric found a buyer after all, yes? Quite well done. I can put this to good use. Of course. Always happy to help. Uh, before I go, may I simply say how grateful I am that you've allowed my boy to stay in your home. I said I would repay you for saving Sandal's life, and I shall serve you faithfully. It is good to know it is safe. I didn't ask you to be my manservant, Bodan. But I owe you a debt, and after what happened in the deep roads, I have no other way to repay you. I'll leave you to your adventures. Your mother asks that you return to the mansion when you have a chance. His staff. Bethany. Fucking two. Oh shit. Go back home. So I hear you've been visiting the Viscount's gardens, Daisy. Oh, they're enormous. And they're always empty. Why don't more people go to see them? Probably because they're private and surrounded by guards. I Where's my home? All those men looked a bit cross. You've certainly come a long I want to go back, but long ways.
care about the house. You've settled in nicely. It's been hard work to get here. Indeed. Still, more coin never hurts, right? Say, if someone wanted to pass some work your way... I'm listening, Aveline. What's the trouble? A thorn in my side, inventing trouble and scaring people. Ooh. Remember Emmerich, the Templar? He wants your help, and some sort of official sanction. Official sanction? For his... Investigation. He's convinced that every random murder in the past few years is connected, and he won't be quiet. Muzzle the geezer. Got it. I would never say that. But if it leads somewhere genuine, I'll pick it up on your word. <laughs> if he shuts up, that's good too. He's in the gallows. Thanks, Hawk. I appreciate it. It's strange living here again. My childhood home. Now owned by my child. It's not something I could have imagined when I was a little girl staring out this window. I'm still grateful you used your money from the expedition to buy back the estate. I feel like an Amel again. I'm going to make the name Hawk one to be proud of in this city. I don't doubt it. Your father would have said that with that exact look, too. I just wish we could all be together as a family one more time. But I can't spend the rest of my life mourning Bethany and Carver. They're gone, and I can't bring them back. I guess I just need to start finding you a suitable wife. What is that? Cool, cool. Oh, I saw something nasty in the woodshed. See. Boom! Ah, there he goes again. How he makes these things, I'll never know. I've never seen another dwarf like him. Does this run in your family? Not at all, but Sandal isn't really my son. I found him in the deep roads when I left Orzammar for good. Raised him as my own now. Isn't that right, my boy? I like Bodan. He's always been this way. Always collecting things and enchanting them. Strange, I suppose. Sandal's quite useful to have around. That he is. Also, I've always said. Oh, Maker knows what will happen when I'm gone. I try not to think about it. I want some pie. Hmm. Oh. Oh, shit. A lot of things to do. Captain, do all these quests if we can. Oh, I heard it. Get some gear for for me.
Do that too. Where is have to got to find it my own for her I've been wondering if I shouldn't remarry I'm sure the last thing you need is your mother watching over your shoulder every time you come home but perhaps there is still life once your children have outgrown you you've been through a lot you deserve any joy you can find thank you love no one could ever replace your father but it is refreshing to think I could still be courted at this age. The Reinhardt's second daughter is very interested in meeting you. Who? Those elves you're friends with, they're rather strange, aren't they? Those elves you're friends with, they're rather strange, aren't they? Those elves you're friends with, they're rather strange, aren't they? Ah, you've returned. A letter and all for you. It's on the desk. That's where I'll put messages which come while you're out. Yeah, I read them all. Okay, so... Go with night here. Assuming there's something out there. Get rid of it. But first. Got the new staff. Well, so. Bianca is a very pretty name. The merchants here keep trying to sell me shoes. They're trying. night terrors in this and i think after that i would cut the i will end episode or i'll end part 12. i think we're in part 12. damn off oh, dude I still don't know what the big tree is for. It's I was hoping you'd come. Hey, what's up? You did so much for my Fenriel already, but I visited him among the people, but he turned me away. 
I know the demons still plague him. And now they've taken him. Two days ago, Fainriel went into a nightmare and hasn't returned. This is hardly my area of expertise, but is there anything I can do? Keeper Marathari thinks an ancient Dalish ritual can help free Fainriel, but someone he trusts must enter the Fade to guide him out. Perhaps this is something best left to the Circle. The Keeper will delve into the ancient magics to protect this half-breed. She wouldn't do so for me. I've already called for the Keeper. We need to begin the ritual as quickly as possible. Would you like to stay here or return when she arrives? I'll come back. I've later. got a few things to finish first. Yes, so I'm going to take a longer you settle your affairs. Once you're in the fade, the only way to emerge is with my son. Got it. Okay. So. We are definitely. So many Kunari lately. Do you think they like it here? I think so. So I'll see you guys on episode or part 13. I don't know why I keep saying episode. Part 13. All right. Bye bye.